May 73, we arrived in Paris and um, we had a good friend there. And uh, we hung out in Paris for about a month. We bought these little motorcycles. I mean, I, I guess maybe we were a little bit naive <laughs> because I mean, they were, I don't know if you know what a Solix is. It's just a very small, you know. Like, like a Vespa? Yeah, like small smaller Vespa. even. Smaller than that. We hung around Paris for about a month. And then we left for Normandy and then went down the coast of France through the north of Spain to the Mediterranean and there we m met the um, group of people on this bus and they were going to Pamplona. I don't know if you've heard of the festival with the running of the bulls. Yes. So we decided to throw our bikes, bikes on top of the bus and we went with them. <laughs> okay. And. Uh, we ran with the bulls. You actually ran with the bulls. You got out in front of the... Yeah, about three times. Okay. Did you... You didn't get hit or anything? No, but... Um, did you see anyone that did? Uh, I, I, <laughs> I was so busy kind of... I understand. But watching I mean, out. But that, after they passed... I, I, I saw the people passed. diving. Diving. Like, you know, like getting trying out to jump, of, of course, yeah, trying to get out the yeah. way because those bulls are... Man, through that small, narrow pathways. Yeah. This, there's this thousands of I know. What, what is that about? I don't know. I think it's just a matter of the challenge. And the adrenaline rush. Yeah. But a I lot mean, of guys get gored. Yeah. Well, I mean, I did get a rush. I mean, <laughs> to say the least, I mean, I mean, I was really rushing <laughs> along for a while. Of course, you don't, you can't outrun them. So, you know, you, you run for a little while. Like, there's thousands of people in the street. So you don't you trip over them too, and you're trying to push well, each the, other. Well, that's what you have to watch out for. The crowd is more dangerous, dangerous than, than the, the bulls, because the if, if they run over you, then uh, you get you might get trampled by the bulls who follow. And then when they got close, I I ducked off to the side and let them pass. And then I went to meet my friends. And he made it too, obviously. Huh? He made it all right too, obviously. Well, I, I don't think the other people ran, but um, but anyway, I was talking to them a bit, sitting down, and all of a sudden my knees were knocking. <laughs> you know, like this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I, nervous, I, yeah. I, I couldn't control it, you know? <laughs> I couldn't control it's it. There was adrenaline in your body. You just. Yeah, <laughs> I mean. To the, it was a close to death experience. You, know, you were done. <laughs> So after yeah. your trips traveling in Europe, then what did you do after that? Well, we, we, we went through um, the Riviera, Corsica, up through Switzerland, and Germany, Belgium, and then finally crossed the channel to London. And um, that was where I had plans of kind of like maybe working. Like I, I, I'd... Um, read about how to say the advertising in London and I kind of like like what they did there you know with a sense of humor and uh, I think it was uh, basically the best advertising in the world I think better than American it was a little bit more humorous more witty I, I went out and looked for um, a job as an assistant in the beginning, I, I, I worked with a fashion photographer, John Carter, for about three months, and then I was quite lucky. Uh, on the weekend, I worked at the photographer's gallery, and I met a uh, producer there from National Geographic, and uh, he was um, looking for somebody to work during Christmas, because um, the photographer didn't want to work during Christmas time. Do you remember your age at this time? Hmm? Do you remember your age at that time? Uh, about 25. I said to him, well, I'm, I'm interested. Um, could I come and see you? So I, I just had a, at that time, just a cardboard box, you know, of, uh, you know, some prints that I had. Okay. I mean, I I hadn't done that much yet, but, but there were some quite nice uh, prints and I went to see him in this hotel and uh, basically they were looking for somebody to work just for five days during Christmas. Uh, it was a story about mining in Wales and not too glamorous but <laughs> anyways I, I didn't really think I 
might guess it, but I went back to the studio and said, well, you know, how'd it go? And it went okay. And um, I think a week later he called up and said, um, you're free, if you're free, uh, please come and work. And I thought, wow, really? <laughs>